but when you were here in January, yes. you were all verklempt over yep. and stressed about the news. Yeah, and now it's all good, so I feel yeah, fine. Right. I feel like everything, <laughs> everything worked out and there's nothing going on. Yeah, well, how are you feeling, really? Uh, you know, I came up with a strategy uh, for how to not be stressed. Don't watch television? Uh, uh, well, what I do is right before bed, I pretend I'm a Republican for about a half an hour. Oh. And I'm just like, oh, tax cuts, mm, <laughs> offshore oil drilling, and then I go to sleep. Does it work? And, I, and then I wake <laughs> up in a rage. That's what I did. <laughs> You're really busy on Twitter. You're very vocal. I'm very vocal. Uh, very involved. Um, we talk politics here every yes. day. A lot of people are saying you got all the candidates on the left. Some are too old. Yes. They're too far left. We're going to have four more years yes. with Donald Trump. What do you make of it? Think there's anyone there yeah. that can beat him? Are they too old? Are they too I white? I don't know. I mean, I, I respect people's opinions on both sides in terms of what the issues are. I just don't want a president who lies 10,000 times. Right. I feel like that should be enough. You know? Uh, you think there's a lot of people here that put themselves in harm's way to fight for our country, and it has to be based on accurate, truthful, information. Is there so, anyone you like or anyone you are pushing for? Well, you know, there's a lot of people who are great. I do worry about a very old president because uh, I don't want a, a president that doesn't have the energy. I'm 51. Mm. I still can't find the fork in the draw half the time. <laughs> you know, I'm already goofy. I don't know what I'm going to be like at 80, so I, I don't know. I totally disagree mm. with that. It's ridiculous. Well, you could be the president. I, I could, understand and I'm that. the same age. I'm the same age as yeah. Joe Biden. Do I look like I can't know, don't know what I'm doing? I, I, in all honesty, yeah. I would trust you. I bet you. there are people out there who are yelling, yes, get on the television. <laughs> but I mean, I'm the same age. I don't yes. see it as an issue. I really don't. I know, but I, you're like a genetic mutation. I am. <laughs> Oh, I was kidnapped by aliens. Yeah. <laughs> so um, let's talk about your personal life. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, page six just ran a story. It's a good time to clear it up. Yes. Recently claiming that you were caught fighting yes. with your wife, Leslie Mann, yes. the lovely actress, yes. outside an L.A. restaurant called Katsuya. I yes. love Katsuya. I hope I get a discount for mentioning them. <laughs> That's called quick pro quo. <laughs> They called you for a comment. This is what you said. That was just the fight at Katsuya. You should have heard the rest of the fight at Pinkberry. <laughs> yeah. so that now, sounds like a great date night. To Pinkberry is the dessert. Well, I've been married 22 years. I mean, I fought in every restaurant in Los Angeles. <laughs> I, what do you McDonald's, fight about? In-N-Out Burger, yeah. Nobu, you name it. But what do you fight about? Well, everything. I mean, you know, we're, I, it wasn't really a fight. It was kind of more of a, a tiff. You know, we engage, yeah, yeah. and I think that's why our relationship is uh, healthy. Yeah. And then they get a call like, what do you say? We saw you guys, that you were, like, debating something in a restaurant. And it's like, really? Have you yeah. been married? Do you know what <laughs> marriage know. is? <laughs> they don't know. They don't know. Yeah. Well, your oldest daughter, Maude, is an actress as well. Is, yeah. I, I watched Euphoria. Yes. She was on that show. It is yes. a, it's a heavy show. It is. Uh, it's got sex, drugs, mm -hmm. some nudity, all that. Is that hard as a dad? To, do you watch it yeah. together? Uh, well, my daughter plays the good girl. She does. Thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, the show is amazing, and it's a real exploration, I think. It makes of, like, you think a the, lot. The yeah. stresses and the d depression and anxiety of teenagers, and it's very uh, creative. So, But I'm just happy she has a job. Yeah. You know, my daughter went to college. She left. I was like, oh, I hope she gets a job. And then I realized that, her whole life, I put away $10,000 a year to pay for college, right? <laughs> yeah. And when she quit, I actually made $130,000. Yeah, but that's tax money. Yeah. You, have pay, pay, you have to tax that money yeah, now. Exactly. But that's an incredible deal, though. You can use that in any country. You can go to school in Italy and yes. use the same money, tax-free for all that time. I can learn you know Spanish. About it? Do you know about that? No, I don't have any kids going to school. Well, you no. have grandchildren who might go. No, no, I have great grandchildren. Great grandchildren. Yes. She's only five. By the time she's ready to go to college, you know, I'll be living in some other country. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, okay. call me when you come over. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, be mad. I think a uh, college at that point is going to be like a million dollars a year if we're not yeah. careful. Yeah. It's ridiculous.